Well, our next question is here too. This one's an email question from Ashley. It says, with the recent no vote on GR City Proposal 1 and the pending resignation of current Comptroller Donnie Joe DeJong, what does this mean for the city's Comptroller position? Is another election needed to replace her? And, and that is mm -hmm. the results then of this last election. Right, right. Um, I think that was a confusing proposal for people and especially with so many things on the ballot mm -hmm. last time, all those proposals from the state and two from the city. That, that um, in my opinion, was unfortunate that it didn't pass, but but um, Comptroller DeYoung um, has announced that she will be resigning. So what that means is that, depending on when she decides to leave, either there would be an election, but that's not yet for a couple of years, or because there are four-year terms, no, two-year terms for that, but um, we can, if she resigns soon, we would need to fill that position. So it would be a person just like what happened with her after Stan, appointment then, Stan Milanowski retired, and then we interviewed people, we appointed her, and then she was up for election soon after that. So depending on when she was, resigns, either there will be an election or we'll go ahead and appoint somebody. Okay. In case somebody's not uh, real certain what we're talking about, can you tell a little bit about what uh, pro uh, Proposal 1 was about and, and that Commissioner Dijon actually supported this and put it out there. Right, right. Um, we have a comptroller which is uh, really came about um, as a result of corruption in the um, early 1900s where uh, the city, there was a lot of transformation in that era, era away from strong mayor to city council governments for example. And What's happened is over the years, the controller position in many cities has gone away, and we're one of the only, maybe the only city in the, the state that still has this position. And that's because it's been replaced with auditing systems and government expectations for audits that have evolved and changed over the years. So our controller, we, we asked her to take a look at this position and see how we could modernize it. And her suggestion was that we move away from the current work of the controller, which is pretty much, in her uh, words, being um, an accountant, writing the checks, paying the checks, and instead have it be more of an auditing position where you're not just writing the checks, but you're really looking at outcomes. Is our 311 system working, for example? Are we meeting our service goals as our promise to our constituents? So what she suggested is that uh, we continue to have this controller, it's in our charter, but that it would be changed so that um, it could be appointed by the city manager and approved then by the city, city commission so that voters would still have that um, check and balance from the commission who they elected and that there would be, uh, it was just, they would combine departments too. We have a city treasurer, we have a CFO, and we have a controller. And we've been looking, as many cities have, at how do we save money? So how can we combine some of these resources and put departments together and put positions together and reconfigure them to make them more efficient and more accountable and um, save money? So that's, that was the idea behind this. But at this point, at this time, we, um, we're going to go back to the status quo, what we had before, which means, again, um, like I think it was Ashley asked, we will have to appoint somebody depending on when she decides to leave or else there will be an election. Okay. Well, you mentioned you thought it might be a little bit confusing this past election with you know, a state proposal one, a city proposal right. one, and, and a lot of times the wording does confuse people. Mm -hmm. Do you believe this will end up on a ballot again sometime soon? Well, it can't in this language at least for uh, in several years now, once, once it's failed. Uh, if, if it was changed in some fashion, that's possible. But I think at this point we're, you know, we'll, we'll try to appoint somebody, you know, that who's, who can really meet the needs of this city. We, we had asked too, we asked her to review, does this need to be a full-time or a part-time position? And, and it was originally intended to be part-time. So we've adjusted the salary to some degree to, to reflect the fact that it's part-time. And uh, we'll try to choose somebody who can, can really lead us forward because really we are real recognizing that we should never stop transforming. We should always be involved in continuous quality improvement, part of the lean initiatives that we're doing in every department in the city. Things change and we need to be um, nimble and ready to change with them and embrace technology when it comes along if it makes sense and figure out how we can um, always do a little bit more with less or, or at least change what we do to make it more efficient. Okay, well I, I do appreciate that question from Ashley.
Thank you.